<laughs> okay, I'll maybe try again. Hello everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to a new travel video. This is not my flat. I am in Copenhagen and tomorrow we are going to Malmo and it's gonna be a weekend full of food and adventures. And in case you're wondering what's wrong with my voice, I am still a little bit sick, but we're not gonna let that stop us. So first thing is obviously rent a bike. <music> I wanted to show you more of our ride, but it was raining so much. <laughs> Look at my hair. Um, but we are at a lovely food market right now. We're gonna eat loads of street food and I will put the name right here because I forgot. Uh, let's eat. <laughs> got a poppy seed swirl with sweet cream and poppy seeds obviously so let me try this mm. it's probably the perfect pastry for the person who doesn't like too much sugar it gives you all the feels of a danish pastry but it's not overly sweet and if you like poppy seed this is the pastry for you So this is course number two for lunch. Homemade pasta looks pretty good. What do you say so far? Very good. Very good. Okay. Mm. You can feel the and taste the difference every time with homemade pasta. The cheese! Perfection. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! Well, as you can see, or not see, um, it's raining. So we had to get some capes and maybe change our plan a little bit for today, but that's fine. <laughs> On to the next uh, adventure point. Ah! We found somewhere to go, so we came to a fine art museum which is called Nie Carlsberg Glyptotech <laughs> and they have some Mediterranean sculptures here and obviously loads of plants. Everybody. Welcome to day number two here in Copenhagen. Yesterday was quite rainy. We still had fun, but we didn't get to see some of the stuff we wanted to do. So we got up super early today to go to Nihaun, I think is how you pronounce it. See some of the beautiful, colorful houses. And then we are going to Malmo in Sweden. Let's go. It really is very beautiful guys. It looks exactly like in all the pictures that you would have seen. I have no words. Obviously starting the day with pastry as well and we were just thinking about how beautiful it would be to live in one of those houses in Nihaun and I actually then googled who lived there, you know, fun fact that I found out that Hans Christian Andersen used to live in three of the houses. I'm sure you guys will know him. When I was a child I read or was read all of his books. We have arrived in Malmo. We have a bike. Here's my beautiful bike. And first up is the turning torso. And we're gonna try and take a few pictures by the beach and obviously eat some food and see the bathhouse. Actually, this is mm, a lot of plans. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we 
have come to the cold uh, bath house here in Malmo. If I hadn't had a cold, we would have loved to go inside and swim. We're not going to do that, but we're going to have a look anyway. And behind me over there, there, is where the Turning Torso is, which is, I think, one of Malmo's most famous buildings. So let's go and check out the cold water bath house. You can also go to the naked sauna there, by the way, if you're brave. are some of the oldest houses here in Malmo. So this is the old town where we've come to now. It was about a 10 minute bike ride from the bathhouse. It's really beautiful. It's really cool vibes here as well. There's some music playing in the background. So we're gonna walk around the old town a little bit. One thing I noticed about Swedish people actually is that they're super friendly. So every time I start filming, try and take a picture or do a story on Instagram, they wave and they smile at the camera, which is really nice. Here we go. I got some vegan ramen noodles. I was told by many of you guys and many uh, of my friends that vegan food in Malmo is really good. So obviously I went for this. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's super nutty. Loads of coriander. If you don't like coriander, this might be super difficult. But I love coriander. The nuts in it are really nice. You're not missing the like chicken or fish broth that a lot of other ramen would come in. So I'm loving it. So I'm almost finished and I have decided these are the best vegan ramen I have ever eaten. So I wanted to show you what's inside. Noodles, enoki mushrooms, black beans, coriander, chili oil, raw garlic. I can feel that one. This is what makes it so nutty and obviously loads of bean sprouts. Ooh. Right, we have a little bit of time to kill before we're gonna go and play some bull. And we had a look at our lovely list that we've been sent from the Malmo tourism guys. And on that list was the Disgusting Food Museum. When I first read about it, I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to go, but we decided, why not? So we have been given a bath bag. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And I've already had a little bit of a look inside. It smells pretty bad. But you might be wondering why does this exist? I don't know. There is a sign inside which will explain to us, I think, why it exists. So let's have a look at that first and then let's have a look at the disgusting food museum. <laughs> okay, so I read about it. <laughs> and basically, they've created this museum because to, to make people think about what is disgusting to them. If you want to think about it now, some people find spiders disgusting, some people find it not disgusting. Also, some people don't drink milk from cows and other people find it completely normal. So, comment below, let me know what you think and let's have a look around. <laughs> and for the very brave, after the museum, you can try all of, well, most of what you've just seen <laughs> and more. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> I smelled it a lot in Bali, didn't eat it. You might be wondering, how was the disgusting food museum? <laughs> it was disgusting, but it was also good. I do actually re recommend going there if you have a strong stomach. It was super interesting and quite thought provoking, but now we are going to ball because that is fun. <laughs> Cheers. Let's do this. I'll show you how uh, ball is done. not quite like that <laughs> I didn't actually think this is gonna be exhausting I'm quite sweaty I've enjoyed this a lot I mean I'm also wearing a, <laughs> a thick uh, jumper but we are down to the last game and we are even oh you see the winner 
<laughs> right, well done. <laughs> this was a lot of fun, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just losing. I don't care, I'm a happy loser. I did my best. <laughs> I loved it. Okay, on to get some sushi, right? Yes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our last day here in Copenhagen. We're back in Copenhagen today. You might have been wondering why you have seen pizza and not sushi, like I promised. Basically, there is an amazing sushi restaurant in Malmo called Kasai in the sky. I'm going to put the link down below, which I really wanted to go to. But the truth is, we totally underestimated the fact that you have to book restaurants in Malmo because it was so quiet. We, you know, us coming from London, we assumed that surely you don't have to book anywhere, but that is not true. We tried that restaurant and then another one that was recommended, and they were both completely booked out. So when you come to Malmo, my number one tip is actually book a restaurant that you want to go to. And um, yeah, that's why we ended up in a. <coughs> pizza place which was uh, super delicious however so it was kind of like uh, a pop-up restaurant at the back of a, another restaurant so I did really enjoy that and as you can hear I'm still a little bit sick which is annoying because we wanted to get up really early today and see the mermaid however <laughs> with my cold I decided to just stay in bed a little bit longer sometimes you just have to do that so now we're gonna go and get some breakfast in Copenhagen and then we're gonna be on our way back all right guys here's just a little tiny tiny clip of copenhagen with a blue sky <laughs> it can also look like this i think this is what we were hoping for on friday so nice <laughs> 